I hope you are having a good day. I sure am, so far. And today, we're gonna forge a sword. But first off, I have a slight problem with this. Um, and that is, it is a quarter inch too wide. That way. Um, it is pretty good all along this. There are, uh, there's just a couple spots where it's like bowed out, but I can just put that in the forge and bend it back pretty dang easily. But anyways, it is an inch and a half wide, just about exactly the entire way um, up it. I need it an inch and a quarter because when I put a fuller into it, um, well, you'll just see. But anyways, I need to grind off a quarter inch or a little bit less on each side until it is the desired thickness, which is an inch and a quarter. So basically, I'm going to clamp my grinding jig back to this, but first I need to figure out which side I need to take the extra quarter inch off of, because as you can maybe kind of see, the fuller is different. I mean, the spine of the sword is different the way along it. Like on this side, it's farther from this edge than it is from this edge. But then on this side, it's kind of in the middle. So it is pretty much centered all the way down, except for down here at the end when it is way off to the side. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do it from this side, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to measure it and then get grinding. I did a lot more measury, calculating stuff than usual. Um, and it was a lot wider here than it is here. So I still am taking off material from here. But as you can see, like, um, not nearly it. Slowly gets in there. So this is a more than a quarter inch here, and this is just about an eighth of an inch here. So now let's go grind it off. Okay, so I just ground it down and that took forever. Like, well, it was like 30 minutes, but I'm really impatient, so it felt like forever. <sighs> Anyways, I have these aluminum channels, both sides symmetrical along the way, except for this one is longer, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna clamp this in the vise horizontal like this and then I'm going to take clamps and put like clamp a piece of wood or maybe just a piece of scrap metal to it so I know how far to grind on both sides so just about here and here maybe and then I'm going to take the angle grinder with a quarter inch grinding wheel and back and forth until I have fuller on both sides and then hopefully I can heat it up and I'm gonna make a like fullering tool so that I can make the quarter inch fuller into like a half inch fuller. So let's just, I guess, do it because I have no idea how this is gonna work. 
if it's going to work at all, that is. I'm not sure. It seems, so far it seems like this has been kind of a mistake. Like the whole thing, like the bevels are way off, but we'll see how I can do it. I'm going to do it anyways and hope that it turns out okay. Let's do it. <sighs> okay guys, I ground a fuller into both sides of the blade and it was a total success. So here we go, all the way along, that's a little bit, but that's, that's like the only mess up right there, otherwise it is like perfect basically the entire way along. Um, yeah, so basically, what I'm going to do now is light the forge, wait for it to get hot, and make a hardy tool that has a half inch round bar on top that I can then lay this on like that basically while it's hot and put another one on top and then I just pound it and it should widen the blade just a teensy bit and then make it more of a rounded thing because now it's kind of well it's, it's pretty round um yeah yeah so let's light the board and do that
Okay guys, that will be all for today. Not the video, not the end of the video, but that will be all for today. I will at least show you the sword real quick before I go inside. Um, so yeah, here it is. So, it is pretty dang good, I think. It's a almost completely straight blade. Basically, I can just grind out little tiny bits. Um, so, yeah, that is all, and I will see you tomorrow. Right, guys, it is actually like two days later, and let me show you a couple quick things that I forged yesterday and today. They're pretty cool. I forged this pair of needle nose pliers. Pretty good. They're round nose, or round, I don't know, round something. Um, this pair of V bit tongs. They misalign, but once you actually grab something, um, it works. So like here, this railroad spike, pull it out and then just ah, grab these. I made them for forging on railroad spikes. So that works really well for those. And then just a pair of like all purpose forging stuff. The forge is kind of hot because I just finished making the V bit ones. Um, but yeah, they just work really well. So quite pleased. This is for holding, I guess, like thinner stuff so that you can hold, like this is for if I'm just forging a knife, I guess. But anyways, now we're going to start grinding on the sword blade, which is under a hex. It's getting messy here. I should probably clean it up again soon. Hmm. Oh uh, well. Back to forging. I mean grinding. Grinding. That's it. decided to call it an end to today's video and I have a ton and I mean a ton of grinding to do not like a literal ton of course obviously but hours and hours I'm going to use an angle grinder just to do the bevels because one of once or to do one side of the bevel um, on one side it's like two to three times as thick in some spots um, because I had to grind that side to make it so that the like fuller was in the middle So yeah, here is it and then that is the end of today's video Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.